Hey, it's been a while. Of all the things that have happened since the last time that I recorded one of these, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff has happened. You don't need to know it all. Yes, I'm wearing a cast right now. Did I get into a fight with a bear? Probably. Who knows? Forget about it. Don't worry about it. Am I here to do more stand-up? No. I do have new material, but this isn't stand-up related. What we're here to do today is a new segment. Oh shit, I don't have a name for it. We'll call it... I don't know. What we're here to do is something that I've done since I was a little kid. I never got good feedback. What I mean by good feedback is I never got positive feedback for doing this. I would be listening to a song. I'd listen very closely to the lyrics. There would be some blaring issues with the content of the song. The person that is listening to the song willingly, they overlook it, just enjoying the beat, just getting their groove on. Whereas I had questions about the content. I was often told to shut my mouth right up. I never really thought about it until years later, I found that I was still doing the same thing. People would be like, why are you overthinking the song so much? Just enjoy the song. I can't ignore this grammatical issue, the continuity errors here, the fact that this person tried to rhyme a word with that same word, that's lazy. I don't have a hit song or a hit album. If I did, it wouldn't contain the traits of these songs that I'm about to rip apart line by line. I'm going to ruin the music that the world, America, and you have embraced. And you're gonna, you're gonna hate it with me. You're going to agree with me. You're not gonna like it, but it's gonna happen. This is just a really good idea. I'm gonna do this. Sorry, my skin's so ashy from this cast. It's the worst. But it doesn't hurt anymore. I can wiggle it. I can even use the, the mouse, kinda. Anyway, the first song that we're going to ream, that we're gonna rip apart line by line, off the top of my head, ZZ Top, Sharp Dressed Man. There are a lot of good qualities to this song, don't get me wrong, it's a good message. It's just saying, dress nice, the clothes make the man, whatever the message is, it, it is a good message. But the way that they delivered it could have been better. And I'm going to illustrate to you, not how it could be better, but how it's wrong. So join me. Nope, stop, 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 no. Okay, right there, right there. Clean shirt, new shoes, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. Silk suit, black tie, I don't need a reason why. Here's the issue with that. I grew up in a small town. When I say a small town, I don't mean like, like a tiny New York, if that's even a thing. I mean like literally mileage wise, like two miles by three miles. Like, bear -na 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 you need a reason why, if you dress up in this town, when you're out in public, dressed up, you need a reason. They want one. Are you going to a funeral? Did you get married today? It's not even Sunday. Are you getting married to a funeral? The point is, they're going to ask. You're going to get that question all day. All goddamn day. You need a reason why. Don't act like you don't, ZZ Top. If that is your real name, let's proceed. Okay. Can't argue with that. Not all girls appreciate clothes.
All right, let's stop there. Gold watch, diamond ring. I ain't missing not a single thing. Cuff links, stick pin. When I step out, I'm gonna do you in. Okay. Oh, you're talking about, like, the girls that you're after, or the whoever you're after. You're gonna do them in. Sexy time. Got it. I'll let that part go. Gold watch, fine. Diamond ring. Are you married? Why are we wearing a diamond ring? I thought about wearing a ring at one time, and I just decided the ratio of cool looking to problem having people asking about it. Just <sighs> men's jewelry is you're walking a fine line. No to the diamond ring. Quit screwing around. Pay your phone bill. Use that money wisely. Make some investments. Don't buy a diamond ring. We can proceed. Just as a gesture of good nature, I'm gonna put my shades back on. Happy ZZ Top, or whoever you are. Alright, let's go ahead and stop there. Um, I wouldn't say every girl's crazy about a sharp-dressed man. Some girls couldn't care less. Could not care less. I think that somebody who's dressed nicely, if they are aesthetically pleasing, that does something on an instinctual level to everyone. But I think that there are people who are also as interested in things like dudes, people caked in mud. That's a real thing. They're like, oh, he wears dirty jeans. He just shit himself. That's so attractive. No, not every girl is crazy about a sharp-dressed man, but some are, and that's nice. Let's proceed. Alright, let's go ahead and stop there. Um, okay, so the words are top coat, top hat, and I don't worry because my wallet's fat. Um, you know what? Before I go on, let the rest of the phrase play out. Let's do that. So, top coat, top hat, and I don't worry because my wallet's fat. Okay, top coat, like a suit coat, fine. We're presented with the same problem as before, where if you are dressing up, it depends where you are, there might be issues. So top coat, top hat, post-1946, beyond 1946, a top hat is never going to be appropriate unless you're in costume. I don't want that to be true. I've tried to wear a top hat. Not like I tried to go to, to a coffee house and act like I wasn't wearing a top hat when I... It's not socially acceptable. I think they look cool. They do. But unless you're at a specific event that allows for what has been socially deemed as top-notch men's dress, then no, top hat's never gonna go over well. As far as not being worried because your wallet's fat, I might advise you look into a more ergonomic wallet. In addition to that, don't carry so much cash around that it's uncomfortable for you to sit down. There's so many problems with that. You could get pickpocketed, you could get pocket pick, could get picketed. Something you didn't consider. Other than that, we can move forward. Again, let's continue. No. No. You know what? We're just calling it. See, because I'm scrolling through. There's nothing else. There's nothing else. Great. That wasn't so bad, right? That wasn't so painful. We got through it together, you and I. And you stuck with me. And that means something. 
I don't know what it means, but thank you for watching, for sticking around and tuning in. There will be more from me. This is only the beginning. Like I said, I chose the first song off the top of my head. If you have a song in mind, please let me know. I'll do it. I'll cover that one too. I know that there are other songs that I have stowed away, but none of these files are sorted up here. They kind of, I just access them when I need them. It's kind of like when you go to a record store and all of a sudden you blank. You forget all the albums that you want to get. Too much pressure. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed what you saw. I'm going to try and trim this up so it's nice and short. Stay tuned for much more. Also, um, how's your mom doing? She good? She seeing anyone? Oh, she's oh she's seeing your dad, huh? Is he, is he seeing anyone? Oh, he's seeing your mom. Hmm. Seeing your so is your mom seeing anyone?